Hi loves and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be about the narcissist and the empath and why empaths are drawn to those energy suckers. Okay? <laughs> so, okay, so guys, um, there are several reasons on why that happens, right? And I'm going to discuss these reasons in uh, this video, okay? Uh, but guys, first of all, hear me out, okay? Um, first of all, of course, um, only unhealed, um, unhealed empaths uh, go into relationships with uh, the narcissist, okay? Uh, so, um, someone who is, because someone who is healed uh, is going, to, their light is going to shine, shine too brightly, okay? They're going to blind the narcissist, okay? The, uh, the narcissist will feel too exposed by being around them, okay? And uh, they're going to um, try to uh, kind of verbally harass them, right? Or sometimes even physically, right? In order to get them, uh, to, to get the empath to stoop to their level. This way they, they can get in, right? Um, that's the only way they can get to a healed empath, okay? And the healed empath, right? An empath who has healed is, um, they're not the one to mess with basically anymore, right? Because they can spot, spot a narcissist from a mile away, okay? They can smell them, <laughs> like, you know, they can feel who they are, okay? And how, guys, and I will explain to, explain to you how they can feel who the narcissist is, okay? It's actually extremely easy, okay? Um, so yeah, guys, if you are an unhealed empath, okay, understanding why you go for these guys or girls uh, is very, very important, okay? Um, there's, of course, there's a lot, there are a lot of reasons on why you tend to go for these people, right? Narcissists really, really care about their self-image, right? And the way that they come off to the outside world, right? So they usually, uh, they tend to create... Um, an image of someone who is just like this sexual, highly alluring person, right? So they're going to work out, they're gonna build this awesome, beautiful body, right? And they're going to dress really well, usually, right? So they're going to probably buy a perfect car, right? And because they tend to and be driven by status and power, right? They're going to do everything in their power to acquire or accumulate as much money as they can in order to buy a lot of different things that will make them seem highly desired. So guys, um, and the number one, or not the number one reason, but um, the narcissist, because they work so hard on improving their external appearance, right? Because they uh, present this I don't know, this this strong, confident, right? They're really not confident underneath, right? They're actually, in fact, the opposite of confident, right? But because they present this, this confident image, right? This, uh, if he's a guy, masculine image, right? They will do everything to, to master these external things, right? So they're going to work on their uh, body, they're going to work on, on the way they, that they dress, right? They're going to uh, probably try to land the best job, <laughs> you know, in order to make a lot of money, right? It doesn't matter how many heads they step on, right, in the process while getting to the top because they're like snakes, right? Once they get in, they start infecting the entire organization and, um, you know, they... So they'll do anything in their power basically to gain that that top position right in the company if it's if it's like a corporation right so this is the issue with them guys is that you know uh they're going to um they're going to seem very very perfect on the inside right on, on the outside i mean okay so because of that guys it's very easy to fall for that okay so i think a lot of empaths also kind of not a lot, but some of us uh, are drawn to that too, right? Just because we're people, right? And people are drawn to to, to the external uh, appearance, right? And so uh, we can fall for that too, especially if it's an unhealed person, an unhealed empath, um, and, um, you know, they're not, they're, they, um, they don't know their worth yet, right? Maybe they have low self-esteem. So someone like that will kind of draw them in too, okay? 
but <laughs> okay but because they're an empath right also they will sense this about this person too okay so this is the second reason right so the second reason on why an empath might go into a relationship with an arc right is because they sense this hurt individual underneath right so they know the reason on why the narc is putting on this show they know the reason on why the narc has created this false fa facade right they know that it's all a show they know that it's none of it is real because they can feel the hurt individual uh, the hurt little girl the hurt little boy under the the pretense right so because they're empaths they naturally want to help and heal right they're going to um they're going to try to do that basically okay they're going to go into a relationship with the narc or the psychopaths just so they can heal them okay uh, just so they can help them somehow and you know because they can identify with that pain they can identify with that wounded child right because if um they they were this child too also right um and so uh the narc and the empath they they share uh, a lot of similarities too believe it or not right and one of those is the wounded child right only the empath uh, is for some reason able to heal and move past it in, in most cases but the narc cannot um and I don't know exactly why that is actually I don't I don't have the answer to that yet so if you are an empath right I suggest that you and you do have a tendency to feel sorry for people right um, I suggest that you of course it's a great trait right but when it comes to narcissistic people right they have to be willing to change themselves okay um, you're not going to help them. You're not going to be able to help them. You know, um, you might think that your love will will heal them, right? And to an extent, it might, you know, but um, for the most part, right, like a drug addict, nobody can help him but himself, right? So he has to want that help. And uh, from perhaps on an unconscious level, they do want that help right and that's why they also they're drawn to you right but um or that shell of a person that they are right they're drawn to you because you they they can sense that you can you can help them heal right but what they don't realize is that they need to help themselves okay and nobody not even an empathic person right the person of light can can do that job for them okay um so so if you do have a if you're an empath and you do have a tendency to you know um like be drawn to these people and and want to help them right um then just just refrain you know if you find yourself in a situation where you know you feel sorry for another person and you don't want to leave them or you don't um you don't want to stop dating them even, right? If, the, if it's the beginning of the relationship because you feel sorry for them, then really rethink this, okay? And, and I suggest that you leave right away, okay? It's usually not a good sign, right? Um, first of all, uh, feeling sorry for another person that kind of automatically creates uh, unbalanced dynamics, right? And that means um, uh, that also has to do with... Uh, uh, empaths being a lot um, empaths being codependent in many ways right so especially the unhealed ones right so if you're going um, into a relationship uh, you know wanting to heal another person right that already creates a disbalanced dynamic where you're almost like making him dependent right on you <laughs> um, and and um, so so uh, you know you want that healthy and balanced relationship right where you uh, see another individual as uh, an equal right as not someone you can fix right but someone that you guys can i don't know you, someone that you can respect and 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 love and and have a healthy dependency on right anyway so <laughs> I hope that makes sense, right? And anyway, so I hope, an, uh, I mean, I hope. Um, another reason, right, on why um, 
empaths go for narcissists or psychopaths, right? Is because, guys, um, they're, first of all, empaths are extremely emotional, right? And so we're always used to like being around a lot of people and just sensing their emotions, right? Be it good emotions or bad emotions, right? And um, unaware empaths are going to soak all of those emotions in, right? They don't know how to protect themselves yet. Um, and so feeling everyone else's feelings, right, uh, including our own, can get really overwhelming. It can get really draining. It can get... Um, just too much it, it gets to be too much over time right uh, and so that's why most uh, empathic people empaths they like to be by themselves right they like to be in nature where there's no one <laughs> because of the fact that they don't have to feel all of those feelings right uh, or all of this energy coming towards them all right um that too, right uh, but anyway so what happens with a narc or a psychopath is that they're completely disconnected from their emotions, right? So they usually, they can experience certain emotions like, like shame. You know, I've felt um, like, fee I mean, anger, right? Or like rage, when they go into a rage, there's this really like, you know, you can feel that. You can definitely feel that, right? Um, and, and so... Um, they don't feel too many emotions, basically. They're disconnected from a lot of emotions, right? And because of that, they create this safe space for an empath, okay? Uh, and so um, the empath feels like they have found a safe place to come home to. And of course, it's, it's a false illusion, right? It's an illusion of a safe space because... The narc is, is the opposite of a safe space for the empath, right? But on an energetic level, right, the empath feels like they don't feel these crazy emotions from, um, like, let's just say if they were, were with another empath, right, or with a, a neurotypical person, right, they usually can sense way too many emotions, which makes them kind of like um, unstable themselves, right, if they don't know how to handle those emotions from another person, right? So when I was an uh, unawakened, right, when um, I was with another empath, right, uh, in, in, in that relationship, right, or even when I'm around my son, right, because of all of the energy that I'm sensing from uh, my son and that I was sensing from my ex-boyfriend, right, I was always like kind of, uh, I felt like this, this threw me off balance, basically, right? So uh, and and I didn't really particularly like that too much, you know. So th there were too many emotions at the same in the same place, basically, right? So narc is the opposite of that. They're like a rock, right? So when you're with them, you don't feel all of those crazy emotions, you know, that you experience with all the other ones, right? All the other people. So it makes you feel safe. It ma it finally makes you feel calm, right? And so, yeah, that's the that's another reason, guys, um, why empaths are highly drawn to narcissists, okay? And of course, uh, last but not least, right, is uh, uh, empaths are drawn to to the narcissist because opposites attract, right? So, um, you know, light is is going to be drawn to the darkness, right? Um, and and vice versa, okay? So. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Be good.